I'm Professor Nero Mehta from LG Institute of Technology and Engineering. Today, we are going to discuss about subject called automobile system design. In this particular subject, we are going to discuss about topic called transmission system, transmission system and its design. So, let's discuss about transmission system. Transmission system is all about when our engine is fading power to drive or create attractive effort or to our vehicle. Clear? So, mainly this deals with how to propagate or how to start or how to create a moment in our vehicle. Clear? So, ultimately, this particular session will going to introduce you towards our transmission drive. Now, let's talk about this. There are two types of transmission drive right now available in the market. One is automatic transmission system. Second is manual transmission system. In today's topic, we are going to discuss about both of them as well as we are going to emphasize on manual transmission system. When we are talking about transmission system, why it is required? This transmission system is required to create enough torque or you can say attractive effort in terms of power that uh, to propagate our vehicle by converting our RPM in terms of torque. Clear? This particular transmission system is help us to create that enough amount of torque. Now let's talk about this. Engine has sufficient power at its maximum. Clear? So the RPM of engine at maximum power will going to be constant. So we have to convert that maximum RPM in terms of torque so that we can have combination of different loading condition at the same time the combination of RPM as well as torque. Clear? So let's move on to this. What are the different parts of this transmission system? So there are multiple parts of this transmission system. It is start from clutch, gearbox, propeller shaft, universal joints, final drive and differential and ultimately uh, rear axle. Here the main and major part is gearbox which provides a different output gear ratio for our single input drive system. So gearbox is nothing but, automobile gearbox is nothing but a, a single input and multiple output system. Here in that case, our clutch will provide engagement and disengagement of our drive line while we are changing our gear ratio. Clear? And then it will fed it that power to a propeller shaft through a universal joint and ultimately reduction takes place in our final drive and differential which is propagating the power towards our rear axle. Clear? I hope you got this point. What is the uh, introduction to our, trans this, is, this is what introduction to our transmission system. Let's now move on to what is the transmission system exactly is. Here you can see a, uh, a diagram or you can say a proper image of uh, transmission system which has different multiple parts for that. This mechanism is deployed to transfer power clear from driving a driving line to driven line or you can say to propagate our vehicle from engine to final drive. Here, I hope you got this point. What is our system? Now, let's talk about what are the different parts consist in a, uh, in a transmission system. If it, is, if it is a manual transmission system, then we will have a gear drive or gear tray. Here, if it is having a CVT, then we will have a fully built uh, combination. And if it is total, uh, total automatic transmission, then it will be a uh, epicyclic gear drive. Here, you can see the image of a manual transmission system, which is have shaft main shaft, input shaft, one is lay shaft where are uh, different combination of gears are there and then output shaft which is uh, providing a power to our driven line as well as it is having a uh, mounting on a bearing at the same time it will also have a dock clutch which can help to create uh, to change different types of uh, combination or ratio. Now let's talk about types of gear which are going to use in this kind of gearbox mainly we are going to use a helical types of a gearbox uh, which can provide higher torque at a high end at the same time it can provide at the same time higher speed too. So it, it will going to have a, a combination of helical gears uh, which can be connected or which can be controlled by manually clear. So I hope you got this manual transmission system. Now next slide. What are the different requirements to have our transmission system? So one first one is it provides a connection and disconnection between engine with the rest of the powertrain 
clear this is the first requirement of transmission system transmission system is just not a consist of a gearbox but also it consists of a clutch so it is a uh, function of a clutch to engage and dis disengage our engine from our transmission line okay at the same time it will provide a leverage between engine and the driving wheels it, it also provide engine uh, leverage between engine as well as at the same time as well as the driving wheel means it will provide a uh, uh, magnification of our driving ratio while we are working on different load conditions at the same time it will provide power uh, in opposite direction also while we are turning or while we are uh, reversing our vehicle it also enables power transmission to varied angle and varied length now if i am having any kind of change in uh, my working condition then it should be providing at uh, power ratio at any condition then it is also provide reduction ratio which is higher like 5z1 it should also provide uh, 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 this kind of a reduction ratio Clear? At the same time, it will it will provide a diversion at right angles and provide means of drive to driving wheels at a different speed when required. Means we are having different types of loading condition. If, if suppose if I am working on 1200 RPM, and if I want to convert that RPM in terms of maximum torque, then I have to find particular number of or particular amount of RPM to design my the transmission system clear like if i want to have 701 rpm then your gearbox should provide that amount of rpm for particular torque i hope you got this idea very well how this uh, means the ideal gearbox should provide infinite number of gear ratio for infinite number of loading condition and infinite number of rpm i hope you got this point because the main function of gearbox is to provide this infinite number of combinations. Okay? Next point, what is a manual transmission system is all about? In this type of transmission system, the driver has to manually select. Now, in automatic or CVT gearbox, you can have that infinite number of uh, velocity or gear ratio. But in manual gearbox, there is a limitation which is depending on a driver which can change the uh, change the gear ratio depending on a driving condition which is experienced by that particular driver clear how it uh, it will get going to be achieved it will going to achieve with the help of clutch engagement and disengagement once again let's repeat this what is the difference between the major difference between automatic transmission gearbox and manual transmission in automatic transmission gearbox you can have infinite number of combination of gear ratio or velocity ratio but in the case of manual transmission system, the gear ratio should be uh, selected by a uh, driver manually by experiencing what type of load and what amount of speed which is required to that particular vehicle. How it can be achieved? It can be achieved with the help of a lever as well as clutch. Now, how, what is the operation for that? First, it will fully press the clutch, then, uh, then provide the uh, required combination, then it provides required amount of, by slipping of a clutch, it provides different uh, sufficient amount of uh, acceleration to our uh, system and ultimately clutch fully released to engage our driven and driven system. I hope you got this particular idea about manual transmission system. Let's once again, let's talk about this, how uh, automatic and manual transmission system differs from each other. Automatic and manual trans uh, transmission differs from each other on a basic point, which is, in which the automatic transmission is providing you infinite gear ratio whereas manual transmission can't provide you a infinite gear ratio. I hope you got each and every point in this particular session. If you are having any kind of problem regarding to this, you can contact me. Clear? This was your introduction to uh, introduction to <coughs> transmission system. Clear? This is the basic criteria and this is the basic concept of your transmission system. Clear? I hope you enjoyed the session very well. Clear? And this particular uh, session is taken from auto design by R.B. Gupta. Uh, it is, uh, you, you can say it is more of an introductory session towards this auto, uh, auto transmission system. I hope you got each and every point very well. Clear? Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm stopping here. <laughs>